process of making honey is very beautiful. The nectar in the flowers is mostly water with sugar mixed into it. As the bees collect it, they drink it into their stomach, and they have a special stomach that's called their honey stomach. And they use that to transport one drop of nectar back to the hive. When they get back to the hive, another bee will drink it up into her stomach. And they'll go on passing that drip of nectar from bee to bee. The last bee will deposit that nectar into a cell inside the hive. The bees will use their wings to blow air across the top of the nectar and dry the water out of the nectar, which is why honey is so thick and sticky. So this is a good frame to see because you can see the fresh nectar in these cells, but this is the capped honey. When I do a harvest, what I'll do is I'll take the bees off the frames and you cut off the top layer of wax and then the machine spins them around and slings the honey off the frames and then we can pour that into jars. Honey is really special because what you're getting to do is taste thousands and thousands of flowers with every bite. I don't think we should be scared of bees. We should be very respectful of bees because bees are doing their work and they don't want to be bothered. Bees sting for really only two reasons. One is by mistake. So that means you step on a bee and it stings you. The other reason why they might sting is because they feel protective of their hive. Their hive is all they have. And so they'll pretty much do anything to protect themselves. So if by mistake we bump into a hive or there's a hive in a tree that's been disturbed, the bees might want to sting. So we just want to be aware that when we're around bees that we're very respectful and we don't disturb them.